Hey church, Pastor Gary here, coming with this week in Rock Hall. Uh, for those of you who came and joined us for church on Sunday, thank you. Uh, for those of you who brought guests, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was, uh, it was a great Sunday of worship. A lot of guests, a lot of visitors in church on Sunday. It was a good time together. So I uh, just want to thank you for all of that. Hey, I've been following along with a, uh, a revival that's happening in Kentucky, at Wilmore, Kentucky, at Asbury Seminary. Uh, if you haven't seen it online, it's been fantastic. Uh, 24 hours a day for the last week, uh, college students and, and, pe and people from the community have just been gathering together to worship. Uh, 2,000 strong, I guess it's it's closer to probably three or 4,000 now. I mean, I don't know. It's The room is several chapels there in the community are, are filled uh, and people continue to worship. So join me in praying for those folks and that, that this revival would spread. Uh, that, that we would all get caught up in a renewed faith uh, as we see God move in our communities. So, thank you for that. Hey, this Sunday, we, we continued our study of the Gospel of Luke. and In Luke chapter 20, we found Jesus being uh, labeled, or trying to be labeled. Uh, <clears throat> the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they wanted to label him as a heretic, label him as an enemy of, of Rome. Uh, <clears throat> that way, you know, they can diminish him. And we all know what it's like to be labeled by people to diminish us. <clears throat> but what if, or what about, us taking on a label, a label that, of intention, that we intentionally choose and apply it to our lives? That <clears throat> that's what Jesus was trying to get at. And that's what I was trying to bring out of the text on Sunday. Is that, the, the point is, is that, is that as a, as a follower of Jesus, as a disciple, we are children of God. That that we were created in the image of God. That we have a future that's planned and prepared in heaven with God with an eternal life. <clears throat> and just imagine, I mean, I, I just if, if we if we intentionally realize that part of our identity that we are a child of God, how would that shape? Our decision making. How would that, if, if that was on the forefront of our thinking, how would that shape our decisions that we make today and tomorrow? How would it affect the way you live your life? Amen. <clears throat> well, this Sunday we're going to gather again and continue in our study of Luke. Uh, after church on Sunday, there is a gathering in Dover at Watcote United Methodist Church, the Global Methodist Church is having as a presentation to explain what they're all about. And I know that a couple of our churches here in Rock Hall are discerning uh, if that that is a group that they want to reaffiliate with. Uh, so I know that there are a group of folks who are going over. If you'd like to join them, please make plans to do that. It's Sunday afternoon at three o'clock until four thirty at Watcote United Methodist Church in Dover. So. And then next week, uh, next week Lent begins on Ash Wednesday. We're having our Ash Wednesday service at Rome Chapel Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. I hope you're able to join us. You'll hear some more about that on Sunday. All right. Well, I just want to thank you. Uh, thank you all for your school supplies. Uh, the school has been blessed with those this week. And uh, we look forward to the kids coming on Wednesday night. And we can bless them and their family. So. Uh, thank you for everything you do. Remember that everywhere you go, that Christ is alive in you and he wants to do something through you. Amen. God bless you. Have a fantastic week and I uh, look forward to seeing you soon. All right. God bless. Oh, happy Valentine's Day too. Love y'all. Bye.